Hey everyone, it's Moe Mahud, broker owner of Sell Your Home Charlotte here in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. And today we're going to look at ChatGTP. And it's this is the first in a hopefully a weekly um, a, a weekly tutorial on how to use ChatGTP in your business and how to get really good things out of it um, to save you time and energy and to you know many small businesses just don't have the um marketing departments and we have to be everything basically so i'm going to show you how i use it in my small business and also um i use it for the rescue because if you know me i run a dog rescue so i use it to do events uh, facebook posts um get ideas for videos um and today's topic is going to be blog posting so Blog posting is super important if you're a small business owner. It really helps um, elevate your website in organic search. It makes you look like you're the expert, which you are in your line of business. Um, and blog posts can be turned into a lot of things that you can do to help your business. So if you write a blog post, you can turn it into a video. You can turn it into like um, a piece of marketing material. Um, you can put it out on obviously your newsletter, your Facebook page, your website. And we want to make sure that our posts, our blog posts are um, SEO optimized, that they have backlinks in them and all that stuff. So I know that kind of might be like Greek to you, but SEO optimized just means that it's got the words in it that people are looking for so that when they go search um, on you know, the search engines, Google, Bing, or whatever they're searching on, that your content is, you know, comes up basically. So let's um, share my screen and we're gonna go through this. Now, I have ChatGTP, um, the paid version. So if you don't have the paid version, I would highly recommend that you get the paid version. And when you get the paid version, you're going to go down into this little section here and you are going to um, do settings and beta and you are going to go to beta features and you're going to enable plugins and you're going to enable advanced data analysis. So the plugins are basically third party uh, little plugins that um, can do anything from like there's a kayak plugin um there's things that write code which you know i'm not a code writer so you know i don't really play around with that that much uh the ones i use are real estate uh driven so there's you know obviously get on the web there's a listing one that i use there's um there's one called top hat that you know can find houses for me like if i ha if i just want to uh say hey i'm looking for this in you know this area it, it'll pull from like zillow and all the places uh so anyway and then the data the advanced data analysis this is where you can um put like you can upload like a pdf or a excel document or anything and ask it to analyze it um so this is like a really cool thing so i will turn that off and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to show you this is chat gtp4 and i don't have that one checked you should always have them checked so this is that one where you can basically pull from any place that you want um, on your computer and you can say okay i want you to if you have a blog post uh, you can put it in there and can you summarize this article and of course let me get the content of the document I'll provide a summary once I've anal analyzed it so this is something that I wrote um, a few months ago 28 unfor unforgettable experiences your ultimate summer guide to Charlotte uh, which I'm gonna do <laughs> the the ultimate guide to Char uh, Charlotte for fall um, so this is basically without reading it uh, documents title blah 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 the article seems to be targeted for thrill seekers and fun lovers as, and promises to offer a list of 28 active activities that will make your trip to Charlotte unforgettable 
So for me, that's really good content, you know, because I'm a real estate agent. So that's why I try and do these and then link to all the places that you can go and then post it. Um, I think I even made this into a little book. Uh, so it's, so here is, took a minute for it to do it. But yeah, these are the things that I wrote about. So you can basically, if you have somebody else's blog post or you have something really long and you want to summarize it, you can ask it to do that. You just have to have that, uh, the paid version and you just upload it and it's going through. And these are, these are all the things that I wrote. It's really kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to have this stop generating because this is not what our topic is today. I just showed you that because it's really kind of a cool thing. So let's go into the new chat. I'm going to go into plugins, which is a beta. Oh, you can only have one or the other check. That's why I used to be able to do both. Um, so the thing about plugins, so this is the top hat one. It's got real, real estate data, location based tools. Get your guide. You can find tours. I pulled this down because I went to um, France uh, about a month ago and I wanted to see what was going on there. Uh, I haven't really played around with this one very much, but I like what's trending. Um, so we're going to keep that one in and Vox scripts. Uh, we don't need this one for right now. Uh, let's see. Um, so I took out Vox script because that basically if I took a YouTube video and I went ahead and just put the link in, it can tell me what that video is about. It can do kind of like the same thing that we just did with that PDF or it was even a word file. It wasn't even a PDF. Uh, it'll do with the YouTube so it can give me transcripts. It can give me um, content ideas. Like if a competitor is doing YouTube, I can give it their website and say, hey, can you give me some ideas of what I need to do? Um, web pilot is something that I always have uh, checked because this you can browse the web. So uh, I you know, want to make sure that I can do some um, some links in my blog post. So I need that for that. Uh, and then this is to learn a language and Wolfram is, I'm just going to check this one today. Uh, I don't, I have it. I don't really understand what it does, uh, but I've seen it use it. <laughs> if I like, uh, go ahead and like do something, it'll, well, you'll see it. So this is like access computation, math, curated knowledge real-time data through Wolfram Alpha and Wolfram language. I don't know what Wolfram is, but all I know is sometimes ChatGTP uses it and I don't need to know, okay? All right, so let's get to our topic and we're gonna go through how to write a well-organized SEO-driven um, backlink with backlinks blog post that you can use um, step by step so that you can do it on your own and you can use this you know whatever your topic is what we do here you'll just change your topic okay so if you say so i'm a real estate agent so i always write about real estate stuff um but if you're you know own a chef company like if you're a private chef you'll write something based on that thing so when i say when I start typing in here, so you'll see down here, it says send a message. And so I say, okay, I want to brainstorm. This is where I'm gonna start. I want to brainstorm ideas for a blog post for my real estate company. Sell your own charlotte.com i sell residential real estate and i work charlotte area and i want some unique oops unique ideas that are engaging 
and timely um, for my blog post. So let's see what it gives me. I didn't tell, most of the time I'm going to tell it I want 10 or something like that, but I didn't um, tell it that. So certainly let's start writing exploring trending topics and real, real estate, let me fetch the data from you. So it's using what's trending right now. Um, hopefully this will give us some good ideas. Here are some trending keywords and hashtags that are related to real estate from July 30th. So it's going through, um, it's going through this. Uh, it's not giving me anything that I really want. Uh, YouTube searches. So I can go to this YouTube channel and I can see what they're doing. Because uh, they had 200% growth. This one had 33% uh, growth. This one had 33% growth. <laughs> that has nothing to do with what I want. Um, so sometimes some of this stuff is not, let's see, Charlotte's web. Mm, okay. I'm going to stop it right there. Cause it is totally. So sometimes chat goes totally offline. Okay. You are not focusing on real estate. I need. 10 choices, 10 blog post ideas that will engage my audience and show me as a, an expert in my field. So let's see what it does now. I apologize for the oversight. Let's focus on generating engaging blog posts that will showcase your expertise. Okay, now we're getting what we want. Charlotte mid-year review, top five neighborhoods in Charlotte. I've done that one yesterday, actually. Uh, home buyer's guide, uh, navigating the Charlotte local market, selling your home in Charlotte, expert tips for a quick sale, uh, the future of Charlotte real estate predictions in the next decade. Um, I did something like that, investing in Charlotte, why now is the perfect time, uh, the impact of remote work in the Charlotte real estate, uh, behind the scenes, a day in the life of Charlotte real estate agents. Uh, I could do that, but that's pretty funny. Hidden gems, underrated neighborhoods. That's the exact article I wrote yesterday. Eco-friendly. I don't love any of this. Last time it gave me something about first time home buyers and I really like that one. So I'm going to go grab, this is what I did earlier today. If I can grab it, I'll show you. No, nope, doesn't want to do that. Okay. So what about first time home buyers? Is that a good one? So I could do all these things. Uh, I just want to do something on first time home buyers. <laughs> I already started it earlier, so I really want to finish it. So this is the exact one. <laughs> okay. So mistakes to avoid as a first time home buyer, share common pitfalls, financial planning, first time home buyer, guide to Charlotte real estate, the benefits of home ownership. Why is, why is uh, now the right time to buy in Charlotte? Uh, house hunting tips. Understanding home inspections, first time. That's one I'm probably, I might not do that today. I might do all of these eventually. Um, decoding real estate jargon, terms every first time home buyer should know. That's actually a good one too. Uh, emotional journey of buying. It is certainly an emotional journey. Every single buyer gets emotional and they don't even know why um, or that it's happening. Uh, highlights in the Charlotte uh, area suited for first time. Post uh, purchase checklist, what to do after you buy your first home. Let's do the mistakes one. I like this one. Okay. Like, 
this one. Great choice. The good thing to think about ChatGTP is it, it's really a boost your ego. <laughs> Anything you do, it says you're great. Um, so begin with a brief overview, blah, blah, blah. Not, get, not getting a pre-approval. So these are all the mistakes that you make, overlooking additional costs, mistaken advice, mistaken advice. Okay. Skipping the home inspection. I will make you sign a piece of paper to say that you did that. I only had one client in all my years that skipped the home inspection and they regretted it afterwards. Um, but I will not be liable for that. You will sign a piece of paper <laughs> saying that you didn't want to do it and I told you to do it. Uh, not considering the long term mistakes. Okay. Okay. So this could easily be put into an infograph. Um, uh, which there actually is a um, plugin for Canva. Uh, so I could use this at a later date to put it in an infograph for, uh, um, you know, for Facebook or whatever. So I, I like this. And so I'm gonna take this topic and I'm going to use a plugin that I have um, that is it's um, a prompt, not a plugin. It's a prompt that I have that I use when I write my articles. So after we, after I put this in, I will show you mistakes to avoid as a first time home buyer. Okay, so let's go to here. Okay, so while it's writing, so this is the prompt that I use, and I took a class, and this is from a prompt pack that um, was given to me in the class, and it's a really good one for writing a really good blog post because I'll read it. I mean, I'll read it to you while this is writing because it's going a lot so i want you to act as a content writer who's proficient in seo first create two tables the first table should be an outline of the article the second table should be the article bold heading of the second table should use markdown language write an outline of the article separately before writing it at least 15 headings and subheadings include h2 h3 h1 um, h4 headings etc then start writing that writing based on that outline step by step write a 2000 word 100 percent unique seo optimized human written article in english with at least 15 headings and subheadings okay that covers the topic provided in the prompt so our i put the topic in at the bottom because it asked about that and then we're going to talk about like how i want it written so the write the article in your own words rather than copy and pasting from other sources so we don't want to plagiarize consider perplexity and burstiness when creating content ensuring high levels of both without losing specificity specificity or context use fully detailed paragraphs that emerge that engage the reader write in a conversational style as written by a human and end with a conclusion and five unique FAQs. After the conclusion, this is important to bold the title and all the headings in the article and use appropriate headings for H tags. So now write the article. So this is what it did now. So when I just said to this, okay, I like this one, let's write it. This is what it gave me, which is great, I guess, for an infograph. Um, and I'm probably going to have my assistant make this infograph, truthfully. Um, but now for my blog post, this is what I want, right? So this is my table. So all of my sections. And then now here is the article. And it's, it's not the article that I'm going to end with, but this is the article that I'm going to start with. So it has this. So what I now am going to do, because the thing about ChatGTP is that you cannot just, um, you can't just like 
like this is good but it's like not great like i could i could post this i guess but i don't you know it needs to be a little bit for me more in depth so i am gonna say okay this is great this is a great start now let's begin writing the sections one by one okay i want you to make sure that you write in my tone which is direct so i wanted to write it in my tone because like i'm not a flowery person so i want it to seem like i like wrote it and i'll probably go through and change some things after i put it in my blog post so that it is a little bit more like me um but i don't want it to uh you know i don't want it to be like somebody else somebody else's style so which is direct and and i could actually feed it some things and be like copy this style so you can actually go and like get some emails that you wrote or some other things that you wrote and put it in and be like copy this style but i know from like doing it in the past this is how my style is because i'd be like i have done it and they're like okay your style is direct in this so it's already told me what it thinks my style is and so i'm gonna say direct and engaging and i want you to put in links where appropriate and i do not want you to use the same descriptive words because this is another thing that uh chat tp does is it will use the same word over and over again words more than once it's my spelling is here and i think that should be land and okay all right so absolutely let's dive into the sections one by one one's dark tone okay so introduction it's doing its thing it's giving me a a link so i'm going to stop it right here because i made a mistake um i'm going to go here and i'm going to take this what i wrote I'm going to say, let's start with the introduction. Because the problem with Jack Chatty TV is, again, it does not um, um, it doesn't do well doing a whole entire article in one swoop you have to take it section by section. So I'm telling it, okay, just give me the introduction. And what I'm gonna do is, as it goes through this, I'm gonna take this, well, I'm not gonna do it now, but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my blog post one by one. So let's uh, see what this goes to. The other thing is, is you want to make sure that whatever, links it gives you you're going to go and click on them and make sure they're right because there's going to be times when it's going to go to a, oops that, that link doesn't exist so that's a great start uh so let's say introduction the journey of a first time home buyer so you're ready to dive into the home in exciting times uh, but here's the deal uh and i use that word all the time here's the deal <laughs> a charlotte's real estate scene is buzzing and while attempting to jump right in there are pitfalls waiting uh for the unprepared don't worry i've got your back Let's navigate this terrain together, ensuring that we're another story. 
And then it gave me the link to, um, which is a great website. Charlotte's got a lot. So for a first time home buyer or somebody who doesn't live in the city, maybe they're thinking about moving here. This is a great place. This is going to give me a lot of good, uh, you know, um, that link is really good for my, for me, because it's a big link. Um, okay. So that's great. You do the next section. And so it's going to go and do the next section. Of course, let's move on to the next section. Keeping the tone great. And let's see what it says. It's just a city of spirits. It's bustling, blah, blah, blah. It's giving me some links to different um, let's see this link is city center partners so that's uptown that's a good link so worth oh look this page is not working so that's a really good thing um what is it trying to go to historic uh, let's see if we can take out uh, here we go so it's important super important that as you're going through this that you check the links that link is wrong it's the correct link that you but update it. So it's going to correct it. So the other thing I want to make sure is that it's staying on task because sometimes what happens is it's going to forget what title it's writing. <laughs> so um, I can go back and go, okay, this is more, yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. So I can go back and be like, okay, in my... So in my, uh, where to go? Where's my other thing? Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. So, um, the lower the real estate market, common mistakes, and how to avoid them. So I'm going to say okay. I like that then. Um, so let's do the next section. Let's do the next section. Um, sure. Each section as we write it. Days um, true to our title. Oops. And um and is cohesive with the entire article. Is keep referring back to to our previous uh, sections. So, um, I mean, it's going to be a long article, so I can tell it like, oh, I want each section to be how many words I want it to be, or I can say I want it to be two paragraphs. Um, so this is getting a little bit more like uh, in depth. So I'm okay with the first two sections being super short, um, but the, you know some of these I want to have to be uh, a little bit longer. So let's check what's this thing that it did here. So this is great by buying a house, tools and resources for new uh, homeowners. So I'm not gonna take you through every single one, uh, but what I will do is I'll show you what I did yesterday. Um, so I did uh, yesterday, where is it? Underrated Charlotte neighborhoods. 
um, basically went through everything uh, and used some different plugins uh, for it. And this is the, where is my, okay, open my website. So this is my website. And then under my website, here's my blogs. And here is, oh, we haven't updated it yet. Um, had my assistant was supposed to put it up here, but it's not there yet. But this is one that I wrote, all of these I wrote with, um, chat GTP. So Sky, Charlotte skyrocket and Grove, why prices aren't going down anytime soon. And so basically this is an article about historic trends. I found, uh, so every single one of these, um, areas here, you can see is, this is what basically an end result. I didn't do a lot of backlinks in this one though. The one I did yesterday has a lot of backlinks in it. Oh, you know what? I can go, I guess I just didn't post it. Um, let's see. Look at this one. So I did this one. Uh, this is about retiring in Charlotte affordable living. So all of these were written with the help of chat GTP. Um, and they're like, oh, here's one. Here's one with a link. I didn't tell it to do all the links um, in some of the things, but now this is like the learning curve is we need to, you know, figure out like what we're going to do on each section of it. So so we did some things here about why we need backlinks. Um, and that's the other thing that you could do. Uh, I asked it because <laughs> there is a plugin here that um, does backlinks and, and it was like, okay, if you want to, this is how much it costs for this plugin to put in your backlinks. And I was like, well, I'm not spending $10,000. I can figure out how to do this on my own. So then I was like, well, why do I need them? You know, and it this is what it told me. So improve search engine uh, rank rankings, increased organic traffic, brand visibility. And then I could also be like, if you're a person who doesn't know, why do I need a blog? I'm a small business owner. I want to know why do I need a blog? So it's going to tell me it's going to go on the web and it's going to say, okay, having a blog can offer numerous benefits to small business owners. Here's some things establishes authority. That's like the biggest one increases your web traffic. So you do your blog, but then you post it on your Facebook page. You post it on all your so social media. Um, I'm a big into Facebook just because it's my generation is on there. Uh, uh, I'm Gen X and we're, you know, most of my clients are on there. Uh, Instagram too. Uh, it can generate leads, increase your web traffic. You're going to put it on your Facebook page. You're going to put it in a newsletter. Um, it engages with the audience. Uh, so people ask questions about it. Um, it supports marketing. Ge it could generate leads. So you want to make sure when I get to the bottom of that, article that I'm writing, the blog that I'm writing, when I do my conclusion, I'm going to say, now I need you, when you write this conclusion, I need you to put a good call to action for it. So call to action is like, what, what do you want people to do? Right? Um, so you're going to engage with your audience, generate leads, stay relevant. So basically if you do a blog once a month or every other week or whatever you decide to do, and you're posting it out there, you know, that's just more time that people are seeing you. And um, we're going to do on another call how to change to put your blog into a um, make it a video. So um, that's good. And let's see, monetizing. I haven't ever gotten paid for any of my blogs. So, uh, analytics from your blog can provide valuable insight and then personal connection. So a lot of times, too. ChatGTP is great for doing all this, but you know, there might be a time in um, 
when I'm writing this, where I'm gonna do a personal story about a first time home buyer and like what their struggles were. Um, because, you know, most first time home buyers have um, the same struggles. So, this is basically when you come back in here, I can just keep going and I'm gonna copy and paste it into my blog uh, at a later date or, or probably this afternoon because I'm gonna finish this today and I'll have another blog uh, for my website. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I hope that helps everyone. And if you have questions, you know, you feel free to reach out to me. And the, the main thing is if you're not getting what you want, it's because you didn't ask the question the right way or you weren't specific enough. You need to be super specific. You saw like kind of how I was like, yeah, that's not really what I want. So let me go back and rethink my question. Um, I'll also put that SEO prompt uh, in the comments um, so that you guys can use that if you want to use it. Uh, but remember, you don't want to just have that outline. You have to go back through section by section and expand it. And you want to make sure that you click every single um, link in it so that you're making sure that you that it's taking the reader to a proper link. Um, a lot of people won't click on those links, but you know, if you get one, you will automatically lose your audience if the links are no good. Just think about what when you read a blog, what you're looking for. Um, and then you want to make sure after you put it all together, you're going to read it, read it. Just don't post it, read it, make sure it makes sense. Make sure everything is cohesive. Um, make sure ChatGTP stayed on task because sometimes it's like a, got a little ADHD and it goes off, um, you know, to another uh, another topic. Uh, so just make sure that it is basically staying on task. Um, sometimes you'll have to corral it back around to do that because blogs are so big. Um, you know, you need to make sure that it's doing what you want it to do. Uh, okay. I'm Maureen Mahood. Uh, thank you for watching. If you are not a subscriber of my channel, please subscribe. Um, and, uh, I will put the link to the blog that I finished. Um, also in the in the comments and um yeah reach out to me if you have any questions or if you want to do a, a specific topic um like i said i'm gonna try and do these every thursday uh and record specific topics and you know get them down um i think the next one that i was thinking about doing is uh how to create a, a social media content schedule uh, for your business. Um, so that's a super important for any business out there. Um, so to get ideas, when to post, how to post it and all that stuff. So, uh, like, and subscribe and, um, you know, or you can jump on and do this live with me. All right. Have a great day, everyone. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.